Research indicates that when you eat a plant-based diet, you get about a 50 to 60% improved likelihood of clearing HPV, which is appreciable. So when you eat more greens and other vegetables, especially yellow orange vegetables and fruits, especially berries, you get about a 50 to 60% improved likelihood of clearing HPV, which is appreciable. That's you know, that's a good amount. So we should all be really moving towards that and trying to increase you know, plants in our diet anyway. But if you're trying to clear HPV, especially if you're having a hard time um, clearing HPV, you really need to be doing this on a daily basis. And that's not always easy. That's why I like smoothies. Smoothies are really easy. You can pile a whole bunch of different things in there. And, um, and then they're also conducive to adding some other things. Um, which I'll talk about in a moment, that, um, that you wouldn't, definitely most of us wouldn't be eating on a daily basis. So my smoothie, what, how I like to do a smoothie is to not do too much sugar. It should be, think of it as more of a vegetable smoothie. Um, yeah, so you wanna add you know, a little piece of banana, maybe about a quarter cup of frozen blueberries. I like frozen blueberries because um, you know, they don't spoil, they're less expensive, and they're just as good as fresh blueberries. So some blueberries, about a half an avocado. Half an avocado has about six grams of fiber, which is, which is you know, awesome. The benefit of putting something like avocado and banana also in is it kind of makes it a little bit creamier, so it makes it more palatable, especially for some of the other things that I put in there. Um, I like red cabbage or some type of cabbage. Cabbage is high in sulforaphane, so uh, sulforaphanes like diendyl methane convert to I3C or indole 3 carbonyl in the intestine, and those are associated with estrogen-related problems. Um, they're anti-cancer, so there's a lot of benefits to doing sulforaphane-type compounds like I3C and, and DIM. So you can add the cabbage in there. You want to add some greens spinach or some sort of mixed greens, arugula, collard greens, kale, in other words, some dark leafy you know, greens. Um, and then I like to put in a big chunk of ginger, you know, raw ginger, ginger or fresh ginger. Ginger is anti-inflammatory and it's immune stimulating, so it's great to do. Most people like ginger, but most people don't eat ginger on a daily basis. So again, a, a smoothie is a perfect opportunity to be piling in a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't be eating every single day. The other thing and the best thing about doing a smoothie, I think, um, is to put garlic in. Garlic is unbelievable, it's phenomenal. Garlic is antiviral, it's antibacterial, it's antiparasitic, it's antifungal. It lowers cholesterol, it lowers blood pressure, it's anti-atherogenic, which means it helps prevent placking in the arteries. It also thins the blood a little bit, so it helps prevent um, clotting. It's anti-cancer, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's a great antioxidant. So garlic is just hands down, awesome, unbelievable. You can put it in a smoothie and then it's not overpowering. And you really do wanna do garlic, ideally you wanna do it raw, and, and again, just as with all these other um, fruits and vegetables and ginger, you really wanna be doing this on a daily basis um, and it will really improve your health. So, um, and then I top it off with water. So I have, I don't use juice in there. Again, you wanna be, <laughs> you know, you wanna be leaning toward a more of a vegetable type smoothie than, um, you know, than a fruit juice type of smoothie. So the liquid that I put in my smoothie is just water. It doesn't need anything else. If you got the blueberries in there, if you have a little bit of banana and the avocado, it's really creamy with that in there and it tastes really good. And then the ginger, the, uh, the ginger and the um, garlic. What's also good about doing a smoothie is you can put some other things like powders in your smoothie that um, are economical ways to help. So if you're under a lot of stress, you can use something like, um, you can use something like ashwagandha. So this is an ashwagandha extract. This is from bulksupplements.com. They have really inexpensive um, bulk powder. So you can buy these in different um, varying amounts. I think this one was 100 grams. And most of the things are you know, pretty reasonably priced, like 10 to $15 for 100 grams of a powder is, is a lot. So if you're under stress, you can throw something like astragalus and maybe ashwagandha in. You can buy bulk mushroom powders that are very inexpensive. Again, they're about 10, you know, 10 $12 and get uh, turkey tail, you know, Coriolis, get maitake, shiitake. So you can put different mushroom powders in there and really have an economical way of improving immune system function. I don't often put um, 
you know, the mushroom powders in my smoothie. I just never got in the habit of it because I do smoothies on a daily basis myself. They're just really easy. And then you're not chewing and chewing and chewing. You can drink the bloody thing and you don't have to be, you know, wearing out your, uh, your, your, your jaw. Um, but I'll do a separate mushroom extract typically, maybe, you know, five, six, seven different types of mushrooms in the form of an extract. Um, also, you can put turmeric root in your smoothie. Some people do that. I've never, again, I've never gotten in the habit of doing turmeric root because I use curcumin separately as a supplement. I think curcumin has enough merit on its own. Um, it helps prevent HPV from doing some of the nasty things that it does. It helps prevent malignant transformation. So it's one of a number of supplements that are useful anyway for treating HPV and cervical dysplasia. So I, I would normally use it as a supplement, so I don't, I don't put it in my smoothie. And I think it can be staining too, so I don't know if that's necessarily the case with the root, but I think it is. So, you know, if you're drinking this on a daily basis and you're putting something in there that has such a potential to stain, um, it's probably gonna end up doing a number on your teeth over time. So smoothies are great, they're easy. You can do them on a daily basis. I do my smoothie typically for breakfast, but in, and I would do it as a meal replacement. There's no reason not to. If you're looking for a little bit more in the way of calories, then you know, in line with the idea of doing the colors of the rainbow, um, you can do a sweet potato or squash or something on the side. So I'll do my, my smoothie as sort of my main course, and then I'll do a sweet potato um, in addition to that, just because that's not, for me, that's not a lot of food, so, um, you know, if you're looking to lose weight or something, well, then maybe I wouldn't do the sweet potato or do the sweet potato maybe at a different meal or some squash or something like that at a different meal. But the smoothie is a really easy way to be getting all these things in on a daily basis, being able to put some different powders and things like that in there. It's just an economical way to improve your immune system and hopefully help get rid of HPV. I'll put my ingredients in the um, description, the video description below. So if you want to check out and, and see um, what I normally put in my smoothie, you can see that. And then again, if you're looking for more content like this, um, please subscribe to my channel and click like.